dear students welcome to my channel dr v r pudilis mba bba and economics lessons i am doing a series of videos on primary data collection methods in this video i am dealing with questionnaire method merits and demerits of questionnaire method and essentials of a good questionnaire primary data collection methods for questionnaire method in this method a questionnaire is sent usually by mail to the persons concerned with a request to answer the questions and return the questionnaire a questionnaire consists of a number of questions printed or typed in a definite order on a form or a set of forms the questionnaire is mailed to respondents who are expected to read and understand the questions and write down the reply in the space meant for the purpose in the questionnaire itself the respondents have to answer the questions on their own this method of data collection is quite popular particularly in case of big inquiries it is being adopted by private individuals research workers organizations and by governments before using this method it is always advisable to conduct pilot study or pilot survey for testing the questionnaire in a big inquiry the significance of pilot survey is felt very much pilot survey is in fact the replica and rehearsal of the main survey such a survey brings to the light the weaknesses if any of the questionnaires and also of the survey techniques from the experience gained in this way improvement can be affected merits of questionnaire method one questionnaire method involves low cost even when the universe is large and is widely spread geographically two it is free from the bias of the interviewer and answers are in respondents own words three respondents have adequate time to give well thought out answers four respondents who are not easily approachable can also be reached conveniently five large samples can be made use of and thus the results can be made more dependable and reliable demerits of questionnaire method one it can be used only when respondents are educated and cooperating two the control over questionnaire may be lost once it is sent three there is inbuilt inflexibility because of the difficulty of amending the approach once questionnaire is dispatched four low rate of return of the duly filled in questionnaires is a major challenge five there is also the possibility of ambiguous replies 
or omission of replies all together to certain questions. 6. It is difficult to know whether willing respondents are truly representative or not. 7. This method is likely to be the slowest of all. 8. Dear students, in this slide, I am dealing with essentials of a good questionnaire. 1. Questionnaire should be comparatively short and simple, that is, the size of the questionnaire should be minimum. 2. Questions should proceed in logical sequence, moving from easy to more difficult questions. 3. Personal and intimate questions should be left to the end. 4. Technical terms and vague expressions capable of different interpretations should be avoided in a questionnaire. 5. Questions may be dichotomous, SR no type, multiple choice, are open-ended. Open-ended questions are often difficult to analyze and hence should be avoided to the extent possible. Six, there should be some control questions in the questionnaire which indicate the reliability of the respondent. Seven, Questions affecting the sentiments of respondents should be avoided. 8. Adequate space for answers should be provided in the questionnaire. 9. There should always be provision for indications of uncertainty. For example, do not know, no preference and so on. 10. Brief directions with regard to filling up the questionnaire should invariably be given in the questionnaire itself. 11. An attractive looking questionnaire, particularly in male surveys, is a plus point for enlisting cooperation. Dear students, in this video, I had dealt with questionnaire method, merits, demerits and essentials of a good questionnaire. Thank you.